Hello guys and welcome to the rest of this mission, Hunting the Archon, part number 20. We're trying to escape the Ket ship. Let's begin. Oh, great start. Wow, wow, wow. Can we do some grenades right now? Grenades would be lovely. I'm not gonna lie. I don't have any, so that sucks. Chosen, you are... I'm oh, incredibly good at dodging. There we go, right in the head. They do it. Oh man. Drac is pissed. He's absolutely fuming right now. Tempest, this is Ryder. Do you copy? I hear you, Pathfinder. We have the map, but we're trying to rescue some prisoners. Those kept guns won't stay offline forever. I know, I know. Just tell us if anything changes. You'll be the first to know. Callow out. I love combining the powers like floating. Bang! They do it. How did he survive that? I guess it was in the shoulder. Oh, there's more coming. Of course there is. Zip back there. Man, I love this one. I wish I had more of a mag, but still. Just so powerful. This is gonna be a tough one. We're fresh meat. They love to cut it open. Not how I'm going out. Is he still over there? He yeah, is. He got thrown against the wall, but he's still there. Boom! We're in the chest. I think there's still some more coming, guys. This is not over. Yep, yeah, there's more coming. Fuck you! I think it's visible there as well. I don't know what it is. I'm too busy protecting your flank! Oh, two shots. Down and out for the count. Don't go visible with me, you little shit. Boom! Oh, luckily I had to do a reload there. Get away, get away. Oh shit. Guns are coming back online. Yep, I heard that. Oh, come on! Grenade! Out! Oh. I actually missed everyone. He falls out. Come on, guys, throw a grenade to him. Grenade! You dare get that orb out? I don't think I've really, really done anything. How is that even possible? My infantry is also full. Great. I guess we can improve that in some way. Right, let's get your assault rifle out. It's not, not quite working right now. There we go. More like it. Oh, where are you going? Ha! <laughs> Slam dunk. Bloody orb off. I hate orbs. They are so annoying. Why don't you just float around like a swamp? So annoying. I'm taking my shield so quickly. Slight touch. Then he vanishes. There he goes. Down. Throw a grenade. He gets to block that. Stupid bloody all. How am I supposed to avoid that? Give my supremely quick skills. Be careful here. Gotta be careful. There was some life back here, wasn't there? There was. I think it's just him left. I think that's it. He's dead. That's everyone. That's all the cat dead. Oh, oh. Boom! Dead! Finally! Did it. That was the last of us. Jesus, that was hard. Oh, I wish I had more I wish I had more space. I'll leave that. I think I've got it anyway. The cat arms. Are the Solarians still okay? Are they just behind that, that door? Collect all this ammo. We were literally just pushing them back into that room. They all just funneled out. Which I guess worked. We have ammo, let's go. Solarians, are you okay? Oh, then I can't do much. Should I scan it? Use the console, there we go. Yes! Come on, Solarians. And Pathfinder. Can you run? Pathfinder, the cats are close to restoring the ship's power. Shit. Tempest, we're going topside. Track for extraction. Understood. Ryder, thank you. Save it for when we're safe. Yeah, we're not, it's not quite over yet. Now, we've got to go! 
Oh yes, that was cool. That was cool. I need more cutscenes like that. Yeah. A team will escort the Ark back to the Nexus. I'm sure they'll be happy to see you. Thank you again, Ryder. But I owe you an apology. I made a mistake. Oh? I shouldn't have called you to say goodbye. The choice you had to make. I put too much on your shoulders. You did your job. You did what you had to. If that had been the Hyperion and I was looking for my people, I would have been the one calling you. I appreciate that. As Pathfinders, the line between serving our own people and the greater good is blurry. I prefer a sharper focus. I don't think there's going to be much of that in this line of work. I suppose not. Whatever the case, the Solarian people are forever in your debt. Earn this. We will. Drac. Wasn't enough to save the whole Ark. I uh, had to grab a few more Solarians on the way out. Drac, it's... Complicated, except it's not. Leaving my scouts behind was worse than killing them outright. And you're not the one who has to explain it to the rest of the clan. It was a difficult choice, Ryder, but you won an important victory. The Archon has been dealt a blow. Your father would be proud. It's been tough trying to fill his shoes. I hope I'm finally starting to earn it. Though slapping the Archon in the face like this will only make him more dangerous. Or perhaps reckless. Your father liked putting others off balance. He said the worthy would rise above it and learn to face adversity ably. And the unworthy? Would crumble. I'll leave you to your thoughts. I'm not sure if we made the right decision, but having another Pathfinder is essential. Definitely. With reference, Archon, this fascination with Meridian cannot continue. It's the key to our future, Primus. The human knows nothing of its true power. Even we don't fully understand it. Our orders are to exalt this cluster. Not study the remnant. Questions are being asked about your judgment. Questions that come from the highest levels. The answers will be clear soon enough. With Meridian, we can transform every world in this cluster to a wasteland. Either the subjects submit to exaltation, or we will use it to annihilate them. This Pathfinder has opened the door. Now we must be the first to cross the threshold. We must seize Meridian before it does. Like all lesser creatures, it mistakes a battle for the war. It doesn't know its weakness. Or its potential. The Archon saw my memory flashes? He got that from my implant? His device went deep. Our connections were wide open when Sam... killed you. Uh, we have to keep the momentum. That is true. Um, it can't distract me. I must focus. I will know how much we need Meridian. We have to warn the Nexus. We have to move. The move now. Oof. Viability points. 1,000. Jesus. Speak to the leaders on the Nexus. The journey to Meridian. Man, that, that battle towards the end was... Um, was was pretty crazy. It was pretty crazy indeed. Um, I think we made the right choice though. I, I think. I don't know. The Kro I do love the Krogan. And I love Drake, but... Uh, it's, I, I don't know. It's, it's such a tricky decision to make. But there's... Strike team ready for deployment. Having a Pathfinder, having two Pathfinders you have AVP on the Nexus would, is amazing. We, we need that. So, yeah, that's why I did it. I hope the Salarians find their place on the Nexus. Me too. We came to Andromeda because we had a contribution to make. The cat won't take that away. Yeah, because he's happy, isn't he, Carlo? I need a break. Do you need a break? Let's go for a break. What? We going for a break? Okay, we're going for a break. Tea, Zeta? I'd love a cup. 
It's a cultivar originating in Sumatra. My own personal stash. Once I run out, that'll be it for Earth Team. I keep having these thoughts. I'm never gonna taste this again. I'm never gonna see that again. I get those thoughts too. You're not the only one, Suvi. I have those senseless thoughts all the damn time. And? Do they bother you? It's natural. You'd have to be made of stone not to miss home sometimes. The universe is like a giant tapestry. I love following its threads. But it distracts me from the whole picture. My family was right there. But I was too occupied by the abstract to appreciate them. Science is important, but obviously family is more important. You're here because of the family. From everything you've told me, you're here because of your family. Your love of science, doesn't that come from them? Aren't you with them every time you chase down a new discovery? Ryder, that's beautiful. My father was an explorer, and my mother a researcher. Everything I do here reminds me of them. I haven't lost them either. And Suvi, the threads you followed led you here to me. How could that have been a mistake? Of everything I've encountered in Helios, you... Sarah, don't do this to me. Not unless you really mean it. I know, and I'm serious. Serious about us. Ah, oh, how romantic. And she, Sarah gets around. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie. She gets around the whole ship, literally the whole ship. Carlo thinks I've lost it because I keep smiling and giggling for no reason. Expect not for no reason. You're the reason. Ah, she's happy. Good. So you're making the crew happy. <laughs> That's the reason I'm doing it. See? Anyway, I'm getting distracted as always. Let's go to the Nexus, please. We must discuss our next plans. Oh, look at that arc. That is cool. It's a Salarian arc. Oh, so good. So, so good. Alright, where's the Nexus? Let's go. The journey to Meridian. Everyone's gonna be excited though. We've brought back another arc with us. We are the old. <gasps> There's two! There's two arcs on the Nexus. <clears throat> you may get a feeling of like how big the actual Nexus is, because those those arcs look so small, like like titchy. The Nexus is humongous. I would like to Watch welcome our Salarian you pilgrims to the, the Nexus. You have had a long journey, but we're thrilled that Ark Parchero has finally arrived. Like we ask for patience as we find homes for everyone. To those who doubted the future. The proof stands before you. The Salarians live, and so does their dream. Ah, there's the hero who made it possible, Pathfinder Rider. Do you have any words for us? Hmm, what should we say, guys? The dream lives. Um... Just doing my job. I'm just going to be confident, assertive, just doing my job. That's what I do. I'm just doing what needs to be done. A humble servant. Champion of the people. We all owe Ryder a debt of gratitude. In the meantime, please enjoy whatever comforts the Nexus can offer a weary traveler. Excuse me. You're the one who saved us. Correct. I am. Thank you. I don't know what else to say. I, I'd be dead if it weren't for you. I don't know what I'm gonna do. We all would. Now we have a future. Just don't let your guard down. We're in the wilderness here. We can tame it, but it will fight back. So will we. I like Salarians. They're so cute. I love them. Are you ready for another interview question? 
let's, let's, let's find You're out. Right, safe. You... No, no, Kerry, professional. First things first. Tan sent a little gift for your positive message. Ooh. I'd make the most of it. Today's a tough one. The Exiles. Probably the most live wire topic for our leaders. You've met the treacherous mutineers at Kadara Port. Some think the Exiles are a menace to be eradicated. They're not the real threat, I don't think. They're not the, not the main threat, anyway. The Exiles have as many problems as the Initiative. Not every outlaw wants us dead. Wow, it's almost heresy to hear that the Exiles are anything but filthy... Well, Exiles. I wish I could draw this out, but I have a meeting. Sorry. Apparently some colonists want to talk about the series. Maybe they'll be willing to go on camera. Maybe. We're just finishing up here. Thanks again. All right, let's head to the leaders anyway. Hello again. They're waiting for you. Careful. Of course you approve. Ryder saved your people. Ryder saved our people. It doesn't matter if they were Salarians. They were citizens of the Initiative. But it doesn't hurt if there's a few less Krogan around, does it? <clears throat> The Pathfinder. Ryder, we were discussing how things ended with the Archon. Ooh. Uh, I'm so at the quarry gun, I'm sorry. I had to make a decision. I'm sorry. There was no time to save both. I had to make a decision. There have been other decisions in the past which ended in my people dying. Maybe someday, someone will show a little sympathy. Even for just a few Krogan. Yet I have to question what we gained, provoking the Archon like this. He had a map showing the location of Meridian. Now we have it, and a short window to get there. It's the control center for the terraforming network. If we get that working, all our problems are solved. Based on what data? This is all alien science. The vault on Aya suggests that Meridian is the key. While I appreciate what you've done for our strike teams, we're not equipped for a war with the Cat. They'll be defending Meridian with everything they've got. This, this fight's gonna come anyway, whether you like it or not. If we do nothing, I guarantee there's a fight coming. The Archon's already studying how to exalt us. It's not pretty. Still, it's better to focus on the outposts. If the Cat attack, at least our people won't be in one place. Then there's this Sam of yours. We took a chance letting AI get involved. Frankly, I'm uncomfortable with just how involved it's become. I can't support your plan, Ryder. Then I will. Ryder deserves a chance to try. I applaud the gesture, but you answer to me. I hope you understand. Feeling threatened? What's the matter, Tan? Don't want anyone else overshadowing you? It's not called the Pathfinder Initiative. The chain of command has to be respected. That is all. So we're not going to Moody in then. What? Why am I surprised? I don't exactly have a plan B. There may be a way. Pathfinder, apologies. There was an urgent message for you. They said your brother is awake. What? What? Go. We'll talk later in the tech lab. The brother's Scott's woken up. What? There's so much stuff happening right now. All the excitement. The story's really done to kick in. I got to Meridian though. Scott. He's awake. You lied about Dad. Oh. You told me he was alive. Oh, Scott. Oh, got rejected. Why? For the sake of your health, Scott. I didn't know what it might do to you. I couldn't risk hurting your recovery. Well, it's hurting pretty bad right now. I know. This was never going to be easy, Scott. But I hoped I could be here to make it better. Come here. It's just you and me now, sis. I know. But Mom and Dad believed in us. We can do this. What's this rumor I'm hearing? You're the Pathfinder. Dad's parting gift. As soon as I get my gear, well... Be careful. No way are you fit for duty, sir. You need a chance to mend. Yeah, says who? The Pathfinder, that's who. Time to rest up. That's an order, Specialist Rider. <sighs> Pulling rank already. Better hope I never tell anyone about that year you only ate paste. Was it first grade or second? 
You can keep talking if you'd like. Just no arm wrestling. I want to arm wrestle. Ryder, this is Pathfinder Reka. We have a plan for Meridian. Please come by the tech lab as soon as you can. Will do. It sounds like we're going to Meridian. Okay, Scott Ryder, how are you doing? Hey. You feeling out of the loop, I imagine? A little, though I've heard bits and pieces of things from Harry and the med techs. Sounds pretty serious. It's, it's pretty serious. Just the fate of the universe. It's all under control, though, I think. Some speed bumps along the way, but nothing we can't handle. Uh-huh. What kind of speed bumps? There's a race of aliens called the Cat. They're led by a scary nutjob named Archon who wants to turn all of us into them. We both want Meridian, which is the heart of an alien terraforming network trying to activate. We do that, maybe we live. Look at my big sister being all proactive. Meanwhile, I'm mastering the art of peeing in a plastic jar. Fair enough. Uh, Dad was keeping secrets. Can we talk about our parents? Do you miss the Milky Way? Let's, let's talk about Dad's secrets. You should also know, Dad was keeping some secrets from us. He was. Like what? Turns out Sam is even smarter than anyone knew. And Dad juiced his connection to Sam. It's a lot more powerful than other Pathfinders. So is mine. I guess rank has its privileges. What was Dad up to? Um, I've seen his memories. I've seen a few anyway. Dad encrypted some of his memories in Sam. I've started unlocking them. What were they? When Mom called Dad to tell him she was sick. Wow. Mom. Yeah. I'm still hoping I can figure out what it all means. Can we talk about our parents, maybe? I thought maybe we could talk about Mom and Dad. Sure. What about them? Um, how did they meet? Do you miss Mom? You still think about Mom? Yeah. Especially now. I wonder what she'd say if she could see us. Dad talked about her before we went on our first mission. Really? After she died, Dad seemed to shut down. He hadn't talked about her in years. He loved her. I think he was just lost. We all were. Um, how did they meet? What do you remember about how they met? Well, she was in the Alliance, researching early biotic implants. That's about the time she met Dad. He was on Earth for N7 training, I think. He says he swooped in and swept her off her feet. Had a whole bad boy in uniform vibe that was irresistible. Dad? I guess it worked. They got married. Then the first contact war started, and he was sent off to fight. After that, we were born, and Dad was posted to the Citadel as an attaché. What was the Citadel like? What do you remember about growing up on the Citadel? Big space station chock full of all sorts of aliens. Scary at first, but pretty soon I was playing laser tag with Turian and Solarian kids. Looking back on it, maybe that's why I'm here. The Citadel showed me life has no limit on possibilities. It made me ask, what else is out there? Uh, other questions? Can we talk about Dad's death? That's quite serious. Okay, fine. Thought you might want to know how Dad died. I was going to ask you. Habitat 7. There was this alien terraforming machine that had us stranded. Dad figured it out and shut it down. That saved us our ass. Then, all hell broke loose. My helmet got smashed. I couldn't breathe. I was suffocating. Then Dad gave me his helmet. He sacrificed himself? Only one of us could make it, and he didn't hesitate. He was a hero. All those stories about him being an N7, kicking ass in the military. I always thought they were exaggerating. You should have seen him in action. Taking out Ket left and right it was amazing. Huh. Dad, the badass one-man army. Pretty good way to remember him. Fair point. Um, that's all for now. Well, I'll let you take it easy then. Yeah, you wouldn't believe how slammed I am. Got a nap, then doze a bit, then try to catch up on sleep. It'll get better. Not before you find that Meridian. I want in. I'll take pictures. So Riker wants to speak to us about potential plans. Oh, a side mission. Damned exiles. Medic, you okay? Medic, what are you doing? I can't seem to activate you. I 
Press, do it. There we go. <laughs> Oi, Pathfinder. Oi. Today has not been a good day. What's wrong? Where's that? A large shipment of medical supplies intended for Prodromus was intercepted by those damned exiles. Scouts confirmed they've divvied the supplies up among their own outposts. I'll deal with it. I'll see what I can do about reclaiming them. That would be great. Thanks. Maybe when you come across them assholes, you can rectify all this. Oi. Oi. Pathfinder. <laughs> bit direct. <laughs> Fair enough. Alright, let's uh, work out this journey to Meridian. I, hated the, I just hated the leaders. We've done all this work. And they're still like, nah. We're good, thanks. Pathfinder Riker, where are you? Apparently he's above. Riker. Where are you? We need to chat. This could be quite an important chat as well. Very, very important. Oh, the tech lab. Ooh. Ryder, good to see you. We've been working with Dr. Aradana and her team on the problem of getting to Meridian. We think we have the answer. I'm listening. It's plans for new technology we've designated Ghost Storm. When you approach Meridian, our own ships can broadcast fake returns for the Tempest. The cat won't know which one is genuine. It will confuse their sensors and draw their ships off. It could buy you some time. I can work with that. Just enough to give us an advantage. The rest will be on you. I can handle it. Though it means going against the initiative. We're alone here. You didn't hear that. Hear what? We've been collating gamma charts all day. Lies. Occupational hazard. Part of being a pathfinder. Hmm. Let's get moving, I guess. Let's get to it then. The Archon isn't sitting on his hands. You'll have to research the Ghost Storm technology to start. Then we'll meet you at Meridian. Good luck. What research do I have to do? Aha! I knew it! Horizontal gene transfer. The cat incorporate new DNA seamlessly into their own genome. So integrate the Ghost Storm technology with the Tempest to help the Heartfinders. Okay. I'm heading out. Ultra rare shotgun. Look at that. Look at that damage. Clip size is four. Ooh. Well, I now have enough. I just sold a shotgun. Confirm. Confirm trade. And I have 128 credits. Shit. <laughs> Oops. Doc manager, what are you doing? I stopped an unauthorized shipment to Kadara. Oh, good. Stuff. Rations, tools, power cells, you name it. Corresponds with inventory discrepancies. Someone stealing and storing supplies around Nexus and Hyperion for delivery to the exiles. What? If you could keep an eye out for suspicious or out of place packages, I'd appreciate it. I will. I'll see what I can do. Great. Stolen supplies haven't been processed for release, so Sam should be able to detect them. Okay. Thank you. Have you placed the search? For now, I will keep going. What's tell? happening here? You saw what happened to the Krogan. But we need. Your incompetence isn't my problem. Just do your job. Wow. That didn't look fun. What do you want? Sounds like you're having a rough day. You saw that, huh? Oh, I'm sorry I snapped at you. The way Spender treats me? Everyone, I'm just... I'm so angry. I don't understand how he's in any position of authority. He's always like that. He was pretty abusive towards you. Is that... normal? Yes, he's horrible. Working with him is a total nightmare. He's so horrible. Just last week, he tried to redirect some of the supplies we need to keep the stasis pods going. Why? I have no idea. But if Kesh hadn't stepped in and threatened to airlock him, it would have been a disaster. He's always like that. Making bad decisions, driving the Krogan away, treating people like scum when no one's watching. How can I help? Maybe there's something I can do. A man like that's bound to have some dirt. I wish Tan and Addison could see it. Things have gotten so bad that Kesh had to literally kick him out of engineering. How literal are we talking here? Boot to ass. Oh, it was glorious. We need him gone, but as incompetent as Spender is at his job, he's insanely good at keeping it. Kesh can tell you more. Hmm. I reckon there's something behind that, maybe. 
maybe. I don't know. Anyway. To the Tempest. I keep getting distracted. Stop getting distracted. There's so much going on around us. The Med Bay. We need to talk about Sam. Oh. Dr. Taparo does not approve of how we escaped the Ket containment field oh. from the Archon's flagship. By stopping the Pathfinder's heart? No, I do not approve. It was the only way, I'm sorry. We didn't have a choice. If there had been another option, I would have taken it. How can you be so calm about this? Ryder, Sam killed you. Yes, he brought you back, but what if he didn't? I cannot learn without the Pathfinder. That would be akin to killing a part of myself. Your lines of code, you can't die. Hurting me goes against Sam's design. Because AI have never acted against their designs before. Oh, true. <sighs> Look, I'm not against Sam. I'm not against you, Sam. But my job's hard enough without an AI stopping your heart. Even to save your life. Noted. Your concern is noted, Doctor. Of course it has. Lexi, I apologize for any distress I have caused you. <sighs> and I'm sorry for calling you lines of code. You're more than that. Even if you don't have cells to prove it. Yeah, it's a slight conversation, but that did happen, and it is wrong, but... Yep. <laughs> what can you say? Right, anyway, this ghost technology... Let's implement it. To the Tempest. AVP outstanding, Pathfinder. Strike team ready for deployment. The Ghost Storm technology has been fully researched, Pathfinder. Excellent. We're ready to make our push on Meridian then. I'll call a meeting immediately. Is this the meeting room up here or is it somewhere else? Prepping VidCon communications. Oh, let's do this. Cool crew meeting. Done it. The Nexus leaders think our search for Meridian is a waste of time, but we know they're wrong. Turning on vaults won't be enough without the heart of the system. Just to clarify, you're defying a direct order? Not just me. No, not me. We. We are going to defy them. Aha, <laughs> that's the spirit. <laughs> and the kit? That's where the ghost storm technology comes in. Isn't that right, Reka? Absolutely. Our forged signals should divert some cat from you. It won't be all of them, but it'll be enough. The Tempest is small and fast. I don't need a big window. We'll drop you off and make our exit before the cat catch on. Once we're on Meridian, it'll be a small team. Move fast, figure out its secrets. Right behind enemy lines. Good time to assess their numbers, defenses. And when you're ready, we'll extract you the same way we got you in. If we come back with actuals on Meridian, the Nexus will sit up. Sounds like a solid plan. Reka, you ready? Good to go on your word, Pathfinder. All right, guys, this is it. Let's get moving. I'm glad the whole crew is pretty much behind it, so that's good. That is great news. Anyway, thank you guys for this episode. Things are about to get interesting. The journey to Meridian is about to begin. Bye-bye.